Hello, this is Lee over at 3D Palace, and welcome back to our Lehman Roos inspired 4140K tank build. In the last part, we went ahead and created this nifty armor plating that goes over top of our low poly scaffolding for our tank treads. In this part, we're going to go ahead and start the grable work. That is going to cover this thing and make it look cool. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Shall we? I think we shall. Okay, so I think I want to start on the first one here. We're going to be um, adding some pieces on. Um, and we're also going to be making a few more cuts into this thing. So I think I want to start with adding some pieces first though. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a little work table here. Just, you know, right about here. Okay. Let's go ahead and call it work table. Okay, and we don't need all these width and height segments. And to be honest, we can just make it a five by five. That's fine. Okay, and then we can just move it over to about here. That'll give us something nice to auto grid, nice and flat to auto grid off of, so we can make our parts. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and one of the things that's most prevalent on this thing is the amount of rivets that we have. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a sphere, and I'm going to cut that down to about, you know, let's go 12 sides. We're going to hemisphere it at 0.5. I'm going to make sure it's chopped. And we're just going to drag one out. Make sure auto grid is turned on. And there you go. That's going to give us a nice little rivet. Let's go ahead and convert that to an edible polygon. Okay. Select this top one here. And we're going to zoom in so we can see what we're doing. Okay. Well, the first thing I like to do is just uh, delete that top because we don't need it. Okay, we're going to go over here to border. We're going to select that border after we select this vert here. Okay, just delete that vert because we don't need those polygons either. We're going to select this border. We're going to go ahead and cap it up. And then come over here. Hold down control, click on your uh, edge, and I want to give it a chamfer. Just a little chamfer. Like 0 .003 ought to do. It's good. Click OK. And that's our nifty little uh, rivet. So let's go ahead and name it it's the Sphere 1. Let's call it Rivet 001. Now the way this works, we're not going to do it right now, but the way this works, like say we want to put some rivets along either side here. Okay, let's turn that off. We're going to go ahead and select in place this little tool here. Okay. We're going to turn that off. Hold down shift and drag the part you want where you want it. Okay? And we're going to make an instance. Okay? And click OK. So what that allows us to do is basically put it on any surface at any uh, local Okay, so now that we have it on the surface, we can just simply shift and drag. Instance number of copies. Say we want to make five. We want to make five. Five more. We get six total. Okay. There you go. That's how that works. Okay, but we don't want to do that right now. So let's just go ahead and select all of these guys by holding down Control. And deleting them because we don't need them right this second. 
Okay, so but that's that's one of the little greebles we're going to use. Just one. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is we have some little like bearing looking things that stick out the side. So we're going to need a cylinder. 18 is fine. Height segments one. Pull it out to about here. That's good. All right, so let's go ahead and convert this to a notable poly. Okay. Now with this, I'm going to select the top. I'm going to grow. Hold down Control and hit I. And that's going to uh, select the back facing polygon. We don't need it. We can go ahead and get rid of it. Just hit delete. All right, now we can select this top facing polygon. And I'm going to go ahead and inset him by a little bit. 0 0.025 is good. Click OK. Now I'm going to extrude him downwards. Now we could do this with the bevel tool. It doesn't really matter. I just don't really want to right this second. Um, I, I feel I have more control doing it this way. Uh, go ahead and hit inset one more time. Click OK. And we're going to extrude this back out. A little taller than before. And that's going to be OK. Now, the inset was a little much, so what we can do is hit grow. Okay. And then we can grab our uniform scale tool and just scale it out a little bit. Go. Right. And then if it's still too big on, say, the top, just select the top and we can move it down. Now it is supposed to stick out a little bit from the rest of it, so. I'm not terribly worried about it. Okay, but what we can do now is turn this off. Come over here. I'm going to grab this guy. And I'm going to take my tool here. And we really need to make him a little smaller. He's too big for a rivet. So we're going to make him about like that. I'm going to rename him large rivet because I want a couple of a couple of sizes here okay and then we're gonna leave him there and shift and drag we're gonna make an instance we're gonna make a copy and this guy's gonna be called medium rivet Click OK. Bring him up. So he's roughly level. Right, come on, Max. Okay, and we're going to make him a little smaller. There you go. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing and make a small rivet. Okay, and he's going to be small. And it's okay to be a copy. Rivet number one. Small rivet number one, please. And he's going to be small rivet number one, or medium rivet number one. And this guy's got to get scaled down one more time. There we go. Okay. Good. Now, we have our rivets. This guy is going to be bearing cap 001. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and select this polygon here. Actually, we're going to go ahead and select these guys. And what I want to do is I want to cut from here. To here, we're going to make a cross pattern on this. Okay? And then 
and say from here to here okay now the next thing that I want to do is cut from about halfway yeah, it's fine that's fine all right uh, let's make sure we're off a cut here we want just this one and we're gonna chamfer that is okay uh, it did change our geometry a little bit but that's fine I'm not really gonna see it I'm gonna grab all of these Okay, and we're going to inset him by that much. We're going to extrude by about that much. Now I'm going to grab that center polygon and move him up. Okay. There we go. Now what we can do, select our small rivet and use our selected place tool. Hold shift, drag them on over, create an instance here. Shift and drag those to there. Instance. Okay, and then I can grab this again because there's one in each cardinal direction here. Just like so. Bada bang, bada boom, bada done. Now what we're going to want to do, one last thing for this piece here, is just attach all these. That way it's all one piece. Okay. Now if we come over here, there's a certain uh, there, there's a certain places that this is going to go. Okay. So what we can do again is use our select a place tool, hold shift and drag it over because one of those places is right here in the center. Okay. The next place is going to be over here. Over here. over here right here okay actually that's not where that goes let's go ahead and redo this it actually goes shift and drag it goes up here okay and then another one goes right here right here right here and then one goes over here. Okay. Okay. Now the next thing 
that we're going to want to add in eels the hatches it looks like we're going to want to do so if we come over here we can make a box make sure you're auto graded okay and I'm going to want it to be a perfect box so one by one by point five. Oop, too much. Point zero five. There we go. That's better. Okay. And actually, I think though. Length can be 1.25. Yeah, that's good. All right, that's perfect. Okay, we're going to convert this to an edible poly. Okay, now this one might run a little long, guys. If it does, I apologize, but I want to get this part done here. Uh, Oh, we're still in it. Okay, and we're going to grow. Control I and delete. The next thing I want to do is I want to round out these corners here. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to ream. And we're going to chamfer. I want to bring up my box here. We're going to chamfer them pretty good. We're going to add in some segments to make sure it's rounded. Okay. We do want it to be rounded. Right on. Now, grab this top polygon again. And we're going to inset them. We're going to inset them a bit more. That's good. Okay. And we're going to extrude down. Like so. Okay. Now the next thing that we're going to want to do is grab these guys. And we're going to ring it. Same thing here. Turn off extrude, please. Right, come on. There we go, Max. Be nice to me today, buddy. And we're going to connect it right down the center. We're going to chamfer it. Just, you know, manual chamfer is fine. Actually, no. That's not going to work because we need to turn that down to that. That's good. Okay. Now, polygon, and now if I extrude by zero, then I'm going to end up having a polygon underneath I don't want. So we're going to have to do this the old fashioned way. So with those selected, here, here and here, we can go ahead and do another ring. Zero connect on it. And then chamfer this guy. That'll give me the part that I want. Go ahead and grab just this polygon here. And we're going to extrude him down into there. Okay. And now we need to do, um, let's see, what do we need? Come back over here, we're going to need a box. Auto grid. Like so. Actually, 
not quite. Um, I'm kind of doing this on the fly, guys. Let's go ahead and grab these. Okay. Inset. Maps. Not so much. Okay. And what we can do is clean this up. Ow. Got out of myself. And turn turn that okay. Now we have all these guys. Yeah, it's this mess of messiness. So what we can do is just grab these here. Okay. And weld. Okay. And we'll do the same thing here. Weld. And we'll clean up the mesh a little bit. Weld. And weld. Okay. Because what we need to do is take all of this. And we're going to extrude him upwards. Just like so. Okay. Alrighty. So now we can add on our box. So this is going to get renamed Hatch. There's our one. Okay. And then box. Auto grid it off of here. We don't need to make one hinge, we can copy the other. Okay. It's good. Convert this to an edible polygon. Move it over, just like so. Take that top, grow it, control it, and delete the back face. Okay. Now, we're going to take this here. Here, ring, connect, take this face here and delete them, take this face here, and hinge from edge, pick our hinge, bring that guy, 180 degrees, five is fine, delete the back facing polygon. We have some extra verts we need to get rid of. We can just go ahead and select them and then weld. And weld. Okay. Now what we can do is grab all of these. We're going to ring that. Throw connect on. A chamfer. I'm going to chamfer slightly again. Alright, stop it. We'll use the actual tool here. So we want a very slight chamfer. Like 0 .00 two-ish. Okay. Click. Okay. Right. Right. Now, go ahead and grab all of these. Because uh, I don't want to move. 
Okay. We can do an extrude. And we want by local normal. We want to bring it in. Okay. Now what we can do is go ahead and take this face, this face, and this face, and extrude by group out like so. And this face is going to have to come up to meet here. Okay, click OK, and we can just move this out. So that it connects with the door and then from there turn that off grab this guy take this face here we're going to move him up so that he intersects with that. Okay. Good. We're going to go ahead and use our attach function to attach that. Grab our element and shift and drag him down to here. I'm going to clone him as an element. Bada bing, bada boom. We have our hatch. Okay. Now the hatch is going to go on the same way as everything else. Let's go ahead and grab this. Hit shift and drag. And put them on like so. Okay. And we can just rotate them. like that all right and I think that's gonna be about it guys we're at 30 minutes so in the next part we'll go ahead and finish up uh, detailing out this uh, tread housing so until then bye bye